Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. Welcome to another day of Skin September. I really hope that you're enjoying these videos so far this month. Today I've got a high-end skincare haul. As you know, I always say that you should spend as much as you can afford to on skincare. I've got quite a few items and there's some in quite similar categories. For example, I've got a couple of serums. Part of the reason for that is that I've had my eye on them for a while and I thought, you know what, I'm hauling anyway, let's just pick them up now. Um, and also, I wanted to test them out. They're products that I've heard really good things about and I wanted to try them for myself and see how I got on. Obviously, you shouldn't keep switching your skincare too regularly because it can sensitize it. Because I'm a beauty writer, my skin has become sensitized because I'm constantly trying new things, but I really do try and stick with a product for as long as I can. Skincare always takes me a while to review because I'll only incorporate one new product into my regime and then I'll leave it for about three weeks to see how I get on. Um, particularly with products such as cleansers, they always take me a little longer to review. Exfoliators I tend to review a little bit more quickly because I can get a feel for it quite quickly. So by no means am I planning on trying these all out together at the same time. That would just be overkill and my skin would have a meltdown I think. Anyway I went to Kiehl's and I picked up the Midnight Recovery Concentrate which I've had my eye on for a really long time. Um, I've heard so many rave reviews about this. They had a couple of sizes but I went for the 30ml. It's a serum with a pipette um, dispenser. I haven't tried any of these products as yet so I can't tell you my feedback but I may well include a review on my blog once I've had a chance to play around with it for a while. So far I haven't heard one bad thing about this so it'll be interesting to see how I get on. If you're not familiar with the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, it's basically a serum. You apply it onto your cleansed skin, either on its own or under moisturiser. I'll probably play it by air and see how my skin's feeling if I need to have like a bit more nourishment in the form of a night cream. Um, and it's a replenishing cream. You know, your skin always rejuvenates at night anyway, so this is meant to be the perfect sort of blend of essential oils. It's got ingredients such as lavender, um, omega-rich fatty acids such as evening primrose, all those things that are really beneficial for your skin. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. The only thing is that I do have high expectations so I hope that I'm not disappointed. The reason that I originally went into Kiehl's was because I wanted to pick up the Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. Um, again this is a serum, it's got activated C, whatever that is, white birch and peony. It's just a clear solution which you apply onto hyperpigmentation scars. I've read some rave reviews of this and there were a couple of photos that I saw on the internet as well where people have tried this, you know, real bloggers and real people and they've had very positive results. Apparently it works best on newer scars or newer pigmentation marks. I've got a little bit of hyperpigmentation on my chin but I've also got some scars on my legs so I'm going to give this a good go. I ended up getting the larger bottle which is 50ml. It also comes in a smaller size but there wasn't there wasn't significantly different a price difference. There wasn't a significant price difference. Um, in terms of price per mil it made much more sense to go for the large size and I thought you know I really want to stick with this use it really regularly, maybe twice a day. Let me check the directions. Yeah, morning and night before moisturizer. So that I really want to follow those directions and make sure that I do everything I can to obtain the optimum benefits. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. Kiehl's is definitely one of those brands that I've really been impressed with the products I've tried, but I'm not overly familiar with it, I have to confess, which is a shame. I don't know why. I guess they, they've never really had it hugely available in the area close by where I live so I've never really gotten too familiar with the products and when I have gone in I've been quite overwhelmed because there's such a wide product range that I haven't really known where to start. Um, I really like it, um, I like the concept, I think it's you know pretty cool brand and I've heard really positive reviews about a lot of their products and as I said I've liked the products that I've tried um, but I'm getting increasingly into it and I'm really excited to try these two products out so I'll let you know how I get on. I was also really impressed actually when I did buy those two products with the customer service because I got a free gift. I got a little wash bag. It's really cute. It's black. It's got a K on the zip and inside it's got this really cute print with some of their cult products such as the creme de Corps, um, which I have tried and liked. Along with that I also got a couple of samples. I got the Crystal Marine Ultra Rich Cream. I think my mum's tried this before and really liked it, so I'm intrigued to see how I get on with that. Um, I 
actually, I'm just looking at the ingredients, this may well be going to mum for the sample as well because I'm actually quite surprised at the ingredients. Although the first couple are water and glycerin, so it would be good for dehydrated skin, it's also pretty high up in mineral oil, uh, dimethicone. My skin does not like silicone-based products. In fact, there's quite a few that sound like they contain silica, quite a few silica-sounding ingredients in here, and also shea butter, which really does break out my acne prone skin. So this will probably be going to mum. I might just sort of maybe risk trying it once to see how I get on, but I'm, I'll be a bit of, I think I'd be too nervous to stick with this, and I just don't think that the ingredients are that good quality, which I'm surprised at, because I do think of Kiehl's as being a quality brand. And then I also got a really small sample, well, three mils, so actually this will probably do me for a while, of the Midnight Recovery Eye Cream, which which I was looking at when I was looking at the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I think this really has been a hit for the brand, so I'm not surprised that they're extending the range. And I think, although 3ml doesn't sound like that much, it's, it's an eye cream, and my Balance Me eye cream has lasted me a ridiculous amount of time, my little, uh, my little 7ml sample, as in months and months, so I'll certainly have sufficient product in here to develop an opinion and decide whether it's worth repurchasing. Just looking at the ingredients, it's got things like yojoba oil, which is really good for your skin. It's very similar to skin's natural oil, so it really does help to balance, and it's easily absorbed into skin. It's got apricot kernel oil, um, it, sunflower seed oil. It does contain shea butter, but because I'll be putting it around my eye area, I'm not too concerned about that. It tends to be if I apply, a, it tends to be around my chin that I will break out if I've got uh, shea butter in a product. So I'm really intrigued to try this and I was pleased to get the sample of it because I had been looking at it in the store and umming and ahhing. I have to confess that I did go a little bit serum crazy and I also picked up a Declure Aromescence Neroli Serum. Um, again, this is a product that my mum always raves about and I was like, you know what, it's such a cult product and yet I really don't feel very familiar with it. So I picked it up and I thought I'd give it a go. It's got a really sleek little bottle, it's constantly winning awards, it's packed full of really good natural essential oils, really good quality ingredients. I really do like Declor as a brand and I really enjoy their facials actually. It does look ridiculously small, it's only 15ml but you know with a serum you're really not going to go through it that quickly so I'm, um, I'm really excited to try this out. And if I don't like it then I know my mum's a big fan so it certainly won't go to waste, she'll certainly get some enjoyment out of this as well. In fact, I'll have to hide it from her if she comes around because she has a habit of being like, oh, I'd like to try that. Incidentally, as far as I'm aware, all of these are suitable for all skin types. And in case you're a bit worried about the clearly corrective dark spot solution, it's also suitable for sensitive skin. Obviously, everyone's different, but it does say on the packaging that it's suitable for sensitive skin. Finally I picked up a couple of exfoliators, so basically just went a bit crazy buying serums and exfoliators, but I picked up a repurchase, this is the Ulla Henriksen Walnut Complexion Scrub, yes that is how you pronounce his name, um, I love this, which is really surprising from me because I tend to prefer a chemical exfoliant over a physical exfoliant, that sounds scary, but it's not. Physical exfoliants are basically the ones that have granules such as like walnut or maybe little beads in them so you can feel it physically exfoliating your skin. I tend to veer away from them because they can be very very harsh. I certainly wouldn't dream of putting an apricot based scrub on my face um, which a lot of people seem to like those ones and they're like oh it's great you can feel it working. No that's not a good thing. Um, it can actually break capillaries, particularly like around your nose if you've got very sensitive skin, so I tend to veer away from them, but I really, really like this product. I've tried it before. It smells like candy, for one thing, and I'm a big fan of Ula Henriksen products. You know, everything from the packaging, it always, like, really jumps out at me in the store, and I just think the products are really good quality. Some of them I haven't gotten on quite so well with. For example, the Truth To Go Cleansing Wipes I thought were the biggest rip-off. I've got a review on my blog, so just search for that if you're interested. Um, but I really like this. I have reviewed it in full on my blog, so I'll link the blog review below in case you're interested. In fact, it's won a Skin Deep Beauty Blog Award, so no surprise there that I'm repurchasing it. And then I was in Liberty. I couldn't resist picking up one of the much-hyped P50 lotions. These are pretty hard to get your hands on. Um, this is a physical exfoliant 
No, it's not. This is a chemical exfoliant, so it uses acids such as glycolic acid. I'm not even sure which acids this one uses, so don't quote me on glycolic acid. But if you're not familiar with them, chemical exfoliants use things such as glycolic acid to eat away at the dead skin cells on your face. And that sounds scary, but they're actually not too bad. You do need to be careful about sun protection when you're using them, but overall they tend to be very, very beneficial. To the extent that actually I think a lot of people overuse them. I know people always seem to overuse Alpha H uh, liquid gold. And I think that's because the results are so impressive and you can get a little bit addicted to them. This was a lot more expensive than I was expecting. It was 52 pounds, but you do get a lot in there. It's 150 mil and I'm certainly not gonna be using it every day. Um, you just put it on a cotton pad and you wipe it over. Do not go back and forth over the same area. Just once in, same, once in any one area over your skin after cleansing. And, and then you remove it with like a water spray or something like that. Um, I'm really excited to try this out. I've heard really, really good things. So again, I have high expectations. There's little letters after them. I can't remember what the other ones were, but this one's W, which is good for sensitive skin as I have. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this haul. I guess you might be thinking it's a little bit random because I've bought a lot of similar products, but as I said, they're just ones that I really am keen to review. And do let me know if there's any in particular that you're interested in hearing about first off, and I'll try and review those first on my blog. If you enjoyed this and you're not already subscribed, then please do so. There's a button just below, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!